Hey guys, today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to upgrade uh, the M18X hard drives to solid state drives and uh, add some more RAM. <coughs> you have to remove these screws right here. One, two, three, and four. Now these are your two RAM slots here, uh, the other two are be underneath the keyboard so we'll do that after we do the hard drive upgrade. To take the hard drives out, you got to take these four screws out right here. Now, the first and third slots are SATA 3, and the middle one is SATA 2. So the new solid state drives uh, are going to go in the first and third slot, and then the regular hard drive in the second one. I have a couple of these uh, SanDisk uh, 248 Extreme hard drives. So that way putting in RAID 0. So firstly, I'm going to remove the old hard drive. There's four screws holding it in. One, two, three, and four. Now in the middle there would be the old uh, hard drive. So to do that you gotta take this bracket out. And so this bracket comes out and we can slide the old hard drive in the middle. All right, sorry, my camera had a 10 minute limit there, so it cut out. Um, now we've just uh, screwed the drives in. And what I've done is I've taken this ribbon cable out. Uh, it's just a simple clip that holds it in place. There's a 
you lift this white uh, tab here and the cable just comes out. Makes it easier for you to plug this in. Just going to plug this in right here. Just like that. This goes in here. You just lift the white tab up a little bit and you push the cable down. So I can get it to sit properly. Perfect. Now I'm just going to tighten these guys up again. The stock configuration comes with one 2 gig uh, stick and one uh, 4 gig stick. I have a cheap uh, set of 16 gig 2 times 8 gig RAM sitting around. It's Mac memory, it's not the fastest but uh, I wanted to just put it in and see how it works. Um, I'll probably be upgrading to a faster uh, DDR3-1600 with uh, better timings in the future. But this is just to try it out for now. So to remove the front panel, you have to take a bunch of screws out from the back here. There'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There is a little slot for a screwdriver. I'm going to be gentle. Same thing over here. All right, once you have the screws in the back removed, there's two uh, little screw uh, driver holes right here like that you can just lift up. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift and pry around it. And the last little bit will just come out. It, it's tied to a ribbon cable right back here, so don't pull too hard. Um, now there are 
one, two, three, four, five, six screws you have to remove to remove the keyboard. turn be careful there's cables here and here you don't want to take the rest out uh, the ram slots are right in front of it Just put them in at like uh, 45 degrees and press down until you hear it click. That should be it. Now you just gotta backtrack and uh, put everything back together the way you took it out. Clip this back in now. All right. Now you just slide the cover back on here. 